Another strange occurrence in the Karen Reed case because cell phone data was introduced by the prosecution. Now, normally cell phone data is very helpful to the prosecution. It's kind of a concrete evidence that can't be explained away um, or you know, subjected to somebody's perspective. But in this case, it helped the defense because the cell phone data showed that the prosecution's own witness, Jen McCabe, said that she saw um, the defendant outside the home and she couldn't have because the cell phone data showed that she was someplace else. Now, I have no idea why the prosecution would put forward a witness like Jen McCabe and elicit the answer as to where, whether or not she saw her when they knew the cell phone data was going to contradict it. That's like messiness beyond, I don't, I just don't, I've never seen that. I don't know why you would do that as a prosecution. The last thing you wanna do in front of a jury is show that you are putting forth witnesses that are not credible and that clearly um, poked a hole, huge hole in Jen McCabe's testimony. I don't know if any of it then becomes credible once such a crucial piece of her testimony is kind of blown wide open by the concrete evidence of the cell phone data location.